Hello everybody. Now this video will show you one new function of the DFL all-in-one latest software program. We can see this is the latest software. And all DFL users can get it from the forum or can get this one from the sales manager. For some drives, especially some unstable drives or some weak head drives, or when the drives, the heads are read only. So at this time, for this kind of cases, we need to make sure we minimize the times of read the pension hard drive or we need to make sure no more necessary operations are made on the pension drives. Now, for example, for the DFL Western Digital Firmware, we can power on the drive. And then try to enter the program and then we can use all the functions here to repair the possible firmware failures okay after the firmware repair then we can go to the DF DDP data recovery program to extract the lost data However, at this time, we'd better not close this interface, not close this DFWD firmware repair program, okay? Don't close this one, then how to open the DFL DDP data recovery program? We go to the C panel as well. So this is the, on the same channel, SATA 0. I have opened the DFWD from a repair program, but at the same time, I want to open the DDP recovery program. Then I click DDP. Then here we can see that On the same channel SATA 0, I have opened DFLWD and DFLDE two programs. When I have opened this DDP program here, we can see the status, the hard drive gets ready at the DDP data recovery program. However, at this time we check the status within the DFLWD from a repair program. The status are off. That means the current working program is DFLDDP. So at this time, we can try to set up one new project for file extraction or disk image. That means after we fix the firmware issue, we go to the C panel and open, click DDP to open the DFL DDP data recovery program and start image immediately. However, when sometimes, if during the image, we meet some firmware issue or the drive gets undetected or some other kind of failure, unknown failures. Then we can stop the current operations and go back to the DFLWD from repair program. Okay, we go back to this one. 
then simply click power on icon actually now this icon it acts as one switch icon not really power on because the drive is already power on here so we just click power on icon we can see the power drive gets ready immediately this is just a switch to DFWD firmware repair program not really power on because drive is already power on in the DDP now we can check the status status are off within the DDP program but status are on within the WD program so we can easily switch between the firmware repair program and the DDP data recovery program. So if we switch back, then we can see, okay, it's ready here to work with the DDP program. We switch to the firmware repair program, then we simply click this one time, only one time, remember. Then we can check further on the firmware modules and see if some modules are corrupted or not. If some modules are corrupted, then we can fix the firmware modules and finally, after the firmware modules are repaired, we switch to the DDP data recovery program and then new project or we continue the disk image or continue the file extraction so this way it will help the data recovery engineers to save time to switch between the data recovery program and the firmware repair program so this one is the new option and it's one better option than before we have this option before, but now it becomes more convenient for all users to use. To switch between the firmware repair program and the data recovery program. Thank you for watching this video.